Hi, it's G here with another simple lesson for teachers and students. Something to propel you forward through the mists of life. To help you trudge through the sands of time. To help you become the best that you can become. So, today's simple lesson is something that's been playing on the back of my mind for a while, which is what I would describe as a cautious thought, which is vital for us to understand if we are going to continue to learn on our lifelong journey and the message is that to truly listen we need to forget who we are because to truly listen is to forget who you are and this is about the nature of growth and understanding. Listening in essence is a lost art. Although we do a lot of listening, we don't do it in a <coughs> constructive forward thinking way. It's the art that filters language into wisdom. To really listen, one must listen without prejudice and without judgment. This means to not be judicial, to not be a judge or a jury. Judge not that you be judged yourself. It is to achieve a balance of thought and thoughts. It's to be open and to provide a pathway for ideas and communication. A road for learning. To truly listen you must separate the message from the messenger, the thoughts from the thinker, the words from the wordsmith. To truly listen is to give your gift of time and of focus to embrace the knowledge and experiences and the trials of others. It is to distance yourself, your inner self, from you and the perceptions of you. It is to be in the moment, it is to disconnect yourself from the past. It is an acceptance of that which is real or that which is seen to be as reality and to not be trapped in the trial of perceiving thought as just over ambitious idealism. It's an understanding of the unlimited power contained within a moment. It is the beautification of the eternity of ideas. It is the treasure of existence to truly listen. It is a measure of not just, <coughs> it's a measure of not just who we are, 
but who we can become, who we will become, and who we must become. To receive the thought spoken is to embrace the dream that breathes and the dream which may one day in its own way live. This is why we must listen. This is why we must with our ears hear that which exists to be heard. For the listeners are the audience of the world, a rapturous audience whose purpose is to, to listen closely, to listen carefully, to listen clearly, and to listen diligently. For then we may escape the eternal turmoil that is the physical existence. Thoughts exist beyond ourselves. Try to place your finger on a thought. To listen in essence is the basic principle of learning. And to truly listen is to forget who we are. And that is my cautious thought for today. So take a little bit of time to think about that in your day and then you can give me a little feedback if you like these are simple lessons simple lessons hopefully will empower you to make positive choices within your own world and um, there'll be another one soon wherever you are take it easy have a great day